I remember grow, you know, growing up watching you play for England, Leeds, Man United, and I think at the sort of West Ham Leeds period, I would I would have said from what I saw looking in the papers, you were a, you enjoyed a night out. Right? Oh, the, I the enjoyed it. Yeah, how I close, enjoyed it. How close were you then for all that hard work from a six-year-old on that estate in Peckham to throwing it all away by getting sort of carried along but there's a moment in life found success everyone in in their life there's a moment where you there's a decision to be made and my moment came so yeah like you say Leeds and West Ham especially the early, part, early parts of Leeds I overindulged in the nightlife all the finer things that come with being a professional footballer and the Euros came about Kevin Keegan was manager and I didn't get picked embarrassment pride ego smashed to pieces I went away that summer holiday and I just vow- vowed like this isn't happening again. And I, I, I trained that summer. Um, it's like that's when I first ever started training in the summer before I went back to pre-season. So I was training probably for two weeks before that on my own in the park, running around the park, doing drills. Right. So when I got back into training, I was fitter than everyone else. So I, all of a sudden, straight away, the manager's going, oh, whoa, he's fit. There's a, there's a difference to Rio, look, look. And then all of a sudden, that became repetitive. Every single season, I've done that. That November, I got a move to Leeds after being left out of the team, broke the British transfer record, and then it just con- continued going, escalating from there. So, Was it at Manchester United you went in when you realised that everyone was coming back two weeks beforehand? When I got to Man United, it was weird, because, and I'll roll you back to the beginning of that, is I got there and I, wasn't a, 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 I was a good professional. I thought I was a good professional, and I went to United from Leeds, and I saw top professionals. Not players, top professionals, professional athletes who looked after their bodies, who went out and had nights out. They weren't saints. Went out and had nights out when it was right, at the right times, around games. Who Players that prepared for training on a daily basis properly, who recovered after training properly, who their standards on, on the training pitch were up here. And each person who was great at a certain thing that I thought that's, he's, he's the best at that, I tried to take a little bit out of their, out of their makeup. So Skulls, he's, he's standard. He was the best player in training every day. I, want, I need to try and elevate myself to be the best defender every day or one of the best players in the team yeah. every day. Do you know what I mean? Roy Keane demanded standards of players. He demanded players. If he, even if he wasn't performing great in training, he demanded other people apply themselves properly. I want to try and take that and develop that in my makeup. Giggsy was the best in preparation and recovery. He does yoga. I'm doing yoga. Who lets you know what is expected of a player in that environment? The players. Not the manager? No, because you, it's like anyone, like a kid, you can tell a kid all the time. And a lot of kids, until they see it, and they breathe it, and they're in it all the time, and they immerse themselves in it, actually, I can follow that now.